Ah, uh, the lake. Which is what Metal Meat is officially called. And it's an apt name. Because basically all of this is one big lake with a giant whirlpool in the middle. But there's more to this whirlpool than you'd think. Okay, he doesn't seem to have anything more to say to us. Let's just go. Again, this is kind of difficult because uh, we really need to make sure uh, we don't accidentally step off any of these uh, any of these platforms and die horribly in the water. Okay, these strange fish thingies, they... Hmm. Well, I guess we can't... We can kill them, but it's a bit annoying, so... Ah, they, these are stupid. These eye thingies. Oh, right, they summon stuff. And I think we need them to, because otherwise we don't get enough souls for the chalice. What's that thing? Okay, so basically, this used to be a town, I guess, but it's partially sunken beneath the sea, the lake. And now these strange fish creatures have taken it over. Okay, just pick up some health. We are still pretty, pretty low. And this is the exit, and we can't go there yet. We, we first need to find a key. Hmm, hmm, hmm. None of those rock fish animal thingies. Ah, this sword is so awesome. Red rune, nice. Though it would be nice if I knew where it went, where I had to use it. <laughs> I guess it's, this is a dead end, apart from the exit where we can't go yet. Yeah, okay, we'll go back. Oh, wait, I, I wanna hear what the gargoyle has to say. Maybe something interesting. The ancient people of this long vanished town once sought to harness the power of crystals found in the caverns below. Now Zarak seeks to unlock the secrets of this arcane science. This mine shaft leads deep into the earth to certain doom in the crystal. Well, right, it's not really important. It's just a bit of foreshadowing for the next level. Oh, let's not worry too much. Okay, so we have a red and a green room. Uh, but nowhere to use them. <laughs> And this is where this platform comes in again, because this is a lever, and we can use it to go to new places. Great, isn't it? Well, this is not great. <laughs> this is so painful. Maybe, maybe I should have gone back to the cemetery and filled up on health, but I really didn't want to. Okay, so being fish creatures, these things don't really die from falling in the water, so... We have to find another way to kill them. Maybe fire. I mean, they are water creatures. 
Okay, I think it died. <laughs> what is this? Why can I go there? So, this is a dead end? Why did I go here exactly? For fun? Yeah, this is really the, the biggest problem with this level. Having to fight on these small areas when your enemies don't die when you drop them in the water, but you, you die immediately. Come on. Just inch, inch forward. Yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> I'll just keep dropping him in uh, until he's dead right now. Okay, I guess. This is the whirlpool I was talking about. So, right now, if we drop in there, we just die. But, we can do something about it. Look at that, crystal. The Gargo said that the people here used crystals for quite magnificent stuff. So maybe we can we can use it too. Come on. I could really use some help about now. Because I'm nearly dead. And those two frogs still aren't dead. So... Yeah, I'm in a bit of trouble right now. And I'm out of arrows, great, just great. 